Hi, my name is Nigel, and, and I like the PT Cruiser. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Nigel. You see, ever since I was a young boy, I loved that stupid car. In fact, a roughly three-year-old version of myself actually convinced my parents that we should have a PT Cruiser as our family car. And for a good portion of my preschool and elementary school years, we had a black PT Cruiser with little flames on the side that I just absolutely loved. Now, granted, I've never actually driven a PT Cruiser before, and I unfortunately did not commit to memory any specific details of the riding experience. So I cannot truly, fully defend this car in the court of law, nor will I attempt to say that it's a fine driving experience. It's a late 90s, early 2000s Chrysler product, and I mean, Chrysler has never exactly been known to deliver the best quality builds or most reliable engines, and this era was definitely no exception to that. It's a heavy car, technically a light truck, with an underpowered engine, but it's wrapped in an oh-so-alluring exterior. What? You think the PT Cruiser is ugly? Do you really, though? Look deep inside and ask yourself this. Do you truly, genuinely believe that the PT Cruiser is ugly? Or have you just been told that you're supposed to believe that and never questioned it? And look, maybe I'm just crazy, but I honestly genuinely really like the design of the PT Cruiser. I feel like it does an exceedingly good job of calling back to 30s and 40s design cues while maintaining a clean and modern, at least by the early 2000s standards, look. I feel like with the way that current car design has leaned more and more into odd and unusual body lines and just generally gotten more complex, that the smooth and clean lines of the PT Cruiser have aged incredibly well. I could make a similar argument for the Pontiac Aztec, a car that, if released today, would honestly fit right in with the current small SUV segment that everyone seemingly wants, but that's for another time. I just have a hard time seeing the PT Cruiser as ugly. You can call it underpowered all you want and make fun of the crappy interior build quality and bad driving experience. I don't care. But please, next time you see a PT Cruiser, do me a favor and spend some time really looking at it. And ask yourself if you actually find what you're looking at to be unpleasant to the eyes, or if maybe, just maybe, you're actually looking at a beautiful, well-designed, retro-styled car from the early 2000s. So is the PT Cruiser a bad car? Probably. There's a reason I've never owned one. They're heavy, inefficient, and just generally not particularly well-built. But damn if they aren't sexy.